our question number 4 we are given a diagram and it says the figure shows the plan of a house a b c d and a lawn a p c d a a b c d is a rectangle and the measurement is given only one measurement the length is given not the breadth a b is 16 meter and a p c o a is a sector of a circle with center o the center also given there and the radius is 12 meter the point o lies on the line bc our part a says show that the angle of aod is 1.231 radians to three decimal places so our part a has only two points two marks all you need to prove okay this is a circle with the center at uh, o and we are given the radius of the circle is 12 meter 12 meter and this measurement the length of this triangle is 16 meter so okay this is 12 this is 16 and this also radius if this is radius this also radius because o is the center right so this also 12 and this little measurement will be 4 because total length is 16 right so it will be 12 1 4 we need to find we need to prove that angle AOD AOD this little angle this little angle AOD is 1.231 how do you find the uh, little angle here this is a right angle triangle right angle triangle and you are given hypotenuse is 12 and this side is 4 you need to find this theta maybe you can you just use cos theta cos theta equals adjacent side by hypotenuse so your theta will be cos inverse of 4 upon 12 but they want you to find the answer in radian form 1.231 radian so keep your calculator in radian mode and find these you will get the answer so your cos inverse cos inverse of 4 upon 12 is 1.2309 1.2309 and they want you to round the figure to three decimal places so your answer is 1.2309 so when you round it to three decimal places 1.231 the good thing is you are given the answer already you just need to show you just need to prove that it's 1.231 it has only two marks so it's just easy all you need to do you find this little length which is 4 and you must know this also the radius so it is 12. Take this right angle triangle, use cos theta, the Sokatha and you got this angle already. Let's move on to part B. Your part B says the lawn APCDA is shown shaded in figure, the shaded one. They want you to find the area of this lawn in meter square to one decimal place. So how do we find the area of this part? Only this shaded part. Maybe we do one thing, we find this magic sector, this whole sector, we find the whole sector. We know in radian how to find the area of a sector. Then minus this little triangle, that means you will get this whole sector area, this whole area and when you minus this little triangle, you got the area of the lawn already. So how do we find it? Okay, first take a look at this major sector and you need to know the angle of the sector maybe I draw the diagram here let's say this is the major sector you need to know this angle in radian so you can apply the formula half r square theta if you take this semicircle semicircle the area around a point is 2 pi so this angle will be pi and this little angle that means this little angle we have proved that it is 1.231 in part a so the total angle will be pi plus 1.231 radians so use this as your angle and find the total area first then find the, the area of this triangle which is easy half base times height then minus it so first find the area of a sector area of a sector is half r square into 
theta. Your theta is pi plus 1.231. If you are confused, this semicircle has an angle pi, angle on a straight line, angle on a semicircle is pi. And this little angle is 1.231. 1 so this whole angle is pi plus 1.231. So you find this. And so whatever the value here. And then area of this triangle. Area of this triangle. This triangle. If you want to find the area of this triangle, you need the height. You have base 4, you need the height. You are given hypotenuse. Maybe you use Pythagoras theorem to find this find this AD. How do we find AD? AD square plus 4 square is equal to 12 square. A square plus B square is equal to C square. So if you want to find AD square, AD will be square root of 12 square minus 4 square. That's your height. So the area of this triangle will be half times base times base is this 4 and height. Height is this square root of 12 square minus 4 square. So you find this value and this value minus it, this minus this, that's your shaded area, the area of the long APCDA. Okay, let's find the sector area. So the area of the lone equals this sector area minus this triangle. So we got the two areas, sector area and uh, triangle area, you minus them, you minus them, you got the area of a lawn. But you write the answer in one decimal place. So when you minus them, 3 minus 3 is 0, 8 minus 6 is 2, 4 minus 2, 1 that means 11 minus 2 is 9, 2 minus 0, 292. So they want just one decimal place, write it as 292.2 meter square. That's the area of this shaded lawn of this given house. Okay. You find the whole sector area minus this little train. So you need to know the area of this sector in radians, which will be much easier, much easier because our angle is given in radian. Now move on to part C. Our part C says find the perimeter of the lawn in one decimal place. The perimeter of the lawn A, P, C, D, A. We need to find the perimeter and write the answer in one decimal place. This question carries three marks. So if you want to find the perimeter, you need to add a length of all boundary lines. We know this whole length is 16. So 16, okay, we add 16 plus this length, the breadth of this uh, rectangle. How do we find? Take this triangle, right angle triangle, find this side which is AD square is equal to in part B we already got this which will be square root of 12 square minus 4 square, Pythagoras theorem. So that's the, sorry, not AD square, AD. AD is square root of. So that's the length of AD, so 12 square minus 4 square plus. You got this length 16 and AD and this length of arc. Length of arc, there is a formula. <coughs> Sorry. The formula is r theta in radian. Our r is radian, uh, the radius of the circle 12 times our theta, this whole theta, this whole theta, which is pi plus 1 point, pi plus 1.231. This also, we, we got this from part b. So when you multiply r theta, you get the arc length. So arc length plus this length plus this length will give you the perimeter of the lawn. So now just use your calculator to find this value. Find, simplify this, write your answer in 1 dp. That's your, that's the perimeter of the lawn. The answer is 79.78 etc. Round it to one decimal place. Your answer is 79.8 meter. Just the meter because it's a perimeter. Don't put meter square.